Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin live. Welcome. I see somebody's popping in there. I'm going to get my computer set up right away so I can see the comments that are going to be rolling in. Hi, Pat man. Welcome. And here I am. Okay, let me get a... I gotta hit that mute button. Hi, Becky. Hi, Kathy. Sandy. Lola, welcome. Glad you guys could all join me. Let me see if I can get this phone adjusted just a little bit. There we go. Okay. I think we are ready to rock and roll. I have some great stuff to show you tonight. Hi, Sarah. Welcome. And Lisa, welcome. Um, let me, oh, I forgot to put my phone on. Do not disturb you guys. <sighs> If somebody calls me, my video could get interrupted. So if that happens <laughs> um, and we get disconnected, I will pop back on live. So all you need to do is hit the title of my page, a stamp above dash your creative coach, and that'll bring you back to the page. Scroll down to see my live again. I'm really sorry. Doggone it. I do have my phone plugged in. Yay. <laughs> but I forgot to put it on do not disturb. So. Let me make sure my volume is up and it is. Hi, Linda, Lisa, welcome. I have a whole bunch of pretty cards to show you tonight. Um, not only the things that we're going to be making, but also the ones that I've gotten in the mail. And I love to see other people's creations, right? And I love to share them with you too. So I am going to um, share those in just a little bit. Uh, First of all, I wanted to up, update you guys on Steve. I know you've been sending lots of prayers and well wishes for him. He was pretty sick. And we went to the doctor on Friday, and he has what is called polymyalgia rheumatica. Yeah, uh, PMR. And um, they really don't know how you get it. The doctors think that it's possible you get it from some type of a virus. And um, it affects your neck, your shoulders, your hips, and your knees. And that is exactly pinpointed right where he was having all of his issues and creating so much misery for him. So the doctor um, said that the way to um, treat this is with steroids, which, you know, is never a good idea or deal or whatever. Hi, Steve from the kitchen. <laughs> And so um, the doctor said, you know, he can put him on a low dose of steroids and um, he'll start feeling well in about two to three weeks or he could super blast him with steroids and he'd feel good by tomorrow. And then the doctor looked right at me and I went and he goes, and I said, super blast him. <laughs> so me and the doctor super blasted him with steroids. <laughs> And he's feeling so much better already. He finally slept through the night pretty much. He hasn't been getting much sleep. Nicole says her grandma had that years ago. And you know what? Um, I actually diagnosed it before we went to the doctor because I can't remember who sent me the information. But one of you guys sent me an email saying, Kelly, this is exactly what my husband has. This is what it's called. You know, check into it. And sure enough, that is exactly what he has. So... Um, it could take up to a year to get it all under control. We don't know, but for right now, he's feeling much better, and we're all grateful for that, right? Hi, Dana. Welcome. Sarah. Yay. Um, yeah, it was really nice to have some answers because, you know, going on one, two, three weeks of being absolutely miserable, and then plus, he hasn't felt good for probably the last three months. Things have been not right. So um, that long of a time frame starts to get a little scary. Like, is this what my life is going to be like now? Uh, no. So thank goodness for drugs. <laughs> Yay. Um, so we're getting him on the mend. He actually put the lights on the Christmas tree and brought it in last night. But I still don't have it decorated. And um, Haley was here all day today making beautiful Christmas presents. Should I show you what she made? I'm trying to think about who would be watching this. I don't think anybody's watching this that is getting this for a present. So let me grab it. This is what Haley made for Christmas presents. I hope you can see this. And then it is lighted. 
Oh, and it really doesn't show it that good. Let me see if I can turn some lights off here so you can see it better. And hang on, we got one more light. And you know what? I'm going to turn off my screen light. Oh, now can you see it better? Yeah. It's a whole little village, you guys. Let me turn off one more light. I want you to see this. It's really cool. Okay, now it's really dark, isn't it? Uh, it's still kind of, still kind of washed out. But there's rows of houses all along in here, and it's got LED lights in it, and it's really cool. Let me turn the lights back on. And um, it's in one of these shadow frames. Well, there maybe you can see it a little better if I tip it to the side. I don't know. But anyways, it is like the coolest gift ever. And um, I just know that she's making three of them. She made a bunch of these for our family last year. And um, she's making three more. Let me set that back over there so I don't lose it or get lost. Or, oh. And she's got some more layers so I can show you those. See these? All these little layers. She stacks them up in various, whoops, <laughs> let me see if I can do it right, various heights. And that's how she does it. And then in between each layer, she weaves in and out with these LED lights. And let me grab those for you. I know that as stampers and crafters, we want to know the details, right? So these are the lights that she uses. She gets, you can get these at your big box craft stores. And she just tapes that all along the back of each one of these layers and then punches a hole through the thick cardboard to come out the back and mounts that um, battery pack box on there. So, there we go. Um, that's what she was doing all, today, all day today. And then it was funny. I didn't see if she popped on here yet. But it was funny because um, she said she was going home to take a nap. And she never came back. <laughs> so... I don't know. I don't know what happened to her. <laughs> All right, you guys, make sure you're leaving a comment. At least tell me where you're coming from. Um, I have three ways you can win prizes on my Facebook Live. One is by commenting. The other is by sharing. Please click, click that share button right now. You can click share right now. Um, it is right below the picture or over to the side if you've blown your screen up. Did you know you can make me really big on your screen? I don't know if you want to do that or not, but it's easier to see things. Um, Steve, click the share button. I keep getting my husband to, to, I keep trying to get him to share my video. Steve, share, click on the share button and share your wife's video. Come on, you guys, everybody, tell Steve to share my video. <laughs> We're going to like bombard him with share the video. So anyways, um, and ordering. So commenting, sharing, and ordering. Let's see. What did I have happen this last week? Did you see this beauty? Oh my Lord. I wish you could see the detail in here. I know that Facebook Live doesn't have the clearest screen in the world. Did you guys know that um, you can't see things really precisely on these videos that are Facebook Live because... They, um, it's the quality of a Facebook Live. It has nothing to do with my streaming right now because I have a good, um, solid internet line. It has nothing to do with the equipment that I'm using. It's face, it's the nature of Facebook Live. But, oh, there, look at, you can see, see that detail down here? So, this is the Serene Garden, um, bundle. And it comes with a set of framelits that are called Garden Scene. And look at these. This is actually an embossing element. So this doesn't cut out. It embosses. And it's got some really neat um, elements to it. Like, for example, this particular um, framelit, that does die cut. And it die cuts some of the leaves out of this but not all of them. So it is super, super cool. And I made this card with it. And I have an online class that just went live on Friday using this entire bundle. So what does that mean? Well, it means that I have um, eight cards and a bonus card. So nine total cards 
using this bundle of product besides this one. So this would be number 10, but that's not in my online class because I showed it to the whole world. Um, in my online class, I have nine total cards. Each card has its own individual video tutorial, some written instructions. All the dimensions are typed up for you, um, and you get this all in a single document that you can leave on your computer and click on it. It'll take you right to the video for card number one and click on it and go to card number two. So this is my newest online class released on Friday. It's called Serene Garden. If you would like to see all of my online classes, you can go to my um, blog, which is this right here, www.estampabove.com. When we're done, don't leave right now, but when we're done, you can go over to my blog and you will find a button in the right-hand column. So just scroll down till you find a button that says online classes and you'll see all the classes that I have available. Now, you can get this online class for free when you order a bundle of products from me that include the stamp set and the framelit set. Also a roll of ribbon and your choice of three different colors of stamp and blend combos. So you get to pick which ones you want. Um, it's a great deal. You get the online class for free. If you are a demonstrator or you've already bought this particular bundle, you can get my on online class for $20. It is still available to you. So that's pretty cool. Now, I had a few people that I think were a little sad that they could not um, get into my VIP Facebook page, which is where I'm giving away over $400 with the product for the rest of this month. Um, people were really sad that follow me on here going, but the, the only way you can get into my VIP group is if you have ordered from me. And um, they were sad because they were from other countries. And of course, if you guys, you might not know this, but if somebody lives in Australia, for example, they can't order from me because Stampin' Up! does not do international sales. Stampin' Up! is in Australia, but I in the U.S. can't sell to somebody in Australia or Canada or the U.K. or New Zealand or any of the other countries that we're in. So they were sad that there was no way for them to get into uh, my VIP group. Well, my online class is a way for you to get into the VIP group because I have people who buy my online classes that don't purchase product from me because maybe they're a demonstrator or maybe they have their own local demonstrator. But if, if you buy my online class, that will also get you into my VIP group. So there, I think I've solved that problem. However, I will say that all the product that I'm giving away, I am not shipping overseas. That's just too expensive for me to do. But you will still get to see the exclusive projects and videos that I am sharing on there. Hi, Lindsay May, my niece. <laughs> um, you'll still get to see the exclusive projects that I'm sharing on there because I just did my first Facebook Live on my VIP page on Saturday. And I featured um, a cute little candy kiss um, treat favor and it was super cute and a matching card so I made that for everybody and then do you see the wheel let me see if I can get see the wheel back here yeah this is how we're determining which prizes are being given away and I actually sp spun the wheel three times and we had three different winners from the post that I did on Saturday and those winners were let me see I've got them written down here Cindy DeFord, or no, I'm sorry, Cindy DeWitt. I get you ties mixed up just because your last name starts with a D-E. So we've got Cindy DeWitt, Mary Olson, and Denise Krieger. So congratulations to all of you. They won some fabulous prizes. And I have approximately somewhere around 40 prizes to give out um, between now and the end of the month. So the... The only thing you have to do to get into the VIP group and participate in that is to place an order with me. And the other cool thing is you do not have to watch me live because I do not have a schedule. Thanks, Mickey. She says Saturday was fun. I do not have a schedule for these pop-in Facebook Lives on my private VIP group. I'm just going to pop in and I'm going to show you stuff and we're going to spin the wheel and people are going to win stuff. And then I said, I said on Saturday that whoever 
pops on here and leaves a message that they were here will get entered by 10 o'clock tonight or whatever. So you don't have to be live to win. So that's really cool. And Cindy, that is so nice of you to say congratulations to the winners. I know some other people said that too. That's good sportsmanship and I always appreciate that. And it warms my heart to see um, you guys saying congratulations to other people. I mean, it's just like, yeah, stampers are the nicest people, aren't they? So that's what's happening with my VIP group and all my giveaways. I am also giving away some of this product on our program tonight. And, um, you know, for Sunday Facebook Live, I'm also giving away some of this product. So, you know, you have the opportunity to win here too. And let's see, what else can I tell you? Um, I am paying it forward with all of the free product that I'm giving away. I had a really, really good November, like beyond my wildest dreams November. And I need to thank you guys, all my followers, everybody who orders from me, because that allowed me to now pay it forward and give away all this product because you guys were ordering from me. And I really appreciate that and I wanna tell you thank you. And um, let's see, don't forget, um, you can also, I also have an online club that you can join and you will find information on that at the bottom of every one of my blog posts on my blog. So you can check that out with um, a $25 order every month for three months. You then get to choose $30 in product of your choice from me. And I send you a VIP card with the instructions for our technique for the month and also a card used making or made using the technique. That's what I wanted to say. So you can check that out. This next week, I have the Control Freaks blog hop. We are featuring, featuring sneak peeks in the occasions and celebration products. So make sure you check that out. That's on the 19th, which is Wednesday. And then on Thursday, I have a blog hop with the Creative Inking blog hop, and that is celebrating winter. Hi, Linda. Hi, Amanda. Um... Don't forget that I have gift certificates in any denomination year round for any type of um, any type of event. And Anna's saying, "Hi Kelly, is this for any of your online classes?" I'm sorry, you probably said, but my husband was. I missed your question. Hang on. Um, hang on. I'm sorry, you probably said it, but my husband was talking to me. For any of my online classes, I'm not sure what your question is, Anne-Marie, but if you order an online class, that qualifies you to be in my VIP group, and that's what we were talking about. Did you? If you had a different question, please let me know. And I've got poor Karen Jack popping in above saying, where can I find your live? And I'm sorry, but I can't help her right now. <laughs> um, if anybody else... Nope, never mind. I'm not even going there. Okay. So, um, remember uh, the gift certificates, all your long birthdays, anniversaries, whatever you may have. If you have an event coming up and people want to know what to buy you, um, tell them you want a gift certificate. Give them my information and they'll contact me and we can take care of it from there. I've been having a lot of gift certificate um, requests from for Christmas presents for the last couple of weeks. So, one is going out in the mail tomorrow. Um Let's see. Oh, a lot of you were very concerned last week that I was showing everybody my credit card number. And I just want to let you know that I am not that foolish. I would never show the world my credit card number. The actual, the card that you saw laying on my desk, I use for props for gift card holder projects, just to show that this is where a gift card holder goes. And that was a very old gift card from Stampin' Up. It's no longer, if there's no money left on it. I spent it all, all of it. <laughs> and I had a really good time with it. Um, oh, that's what she was asking. Yes, if you would like to find all my online classes, go to my blog, www.astampabub.com. In the right-hand column, you will see um, online classes. Just click on that button. It'll take you right there. So you can check out all of them. 
Um, anyways, that was not a credit card, you guys. I'm, I'm just not that crazy. I would never do that, but thank you for looking out for me. I really do appreciate it. Just know that that was an old gift card. Nobody can do anything with the numbers on there. They're not going any place. Kathy was, said she was nervous. Yeah, I'm not that foolish. <laughs> but you never know, right? I mean, there's lots of things I don't know. So I really appreciate you guys looking out for me. And hi, Carla Adams from Chippewa Falls. I have a very good friend that lives there. Uh, let's see, what else? We've got prizes from last week that we are going to announce. Um, before we do that, I'm going to show you some of the other cards you may have missed that I made last week. A sneak peek. First, I'm going to start with this little cutie. This is actually uses a sneak peek stamp set for the greeting here. And it says, the world needs more people like you. Hang on. Here comes the hubby. We've got a visitor. What's happening? Hi, everybody. Thanks for the well wishes and the prayers. Uh, what I had was miserable. Feeling oh. much better. So thank all of you. Have a great time. Yay! P.S. I will not share. You won't share what? Oh, he typed something, didn't he? <laughs> I have to watch him all the time. <laughs> That was sweet. He really does love hearing from you guys. And I always tell him that, oh, everybody's worried about you. And I think it just really kind of makes him feel like, oh, I'm glad somebody cares. <laughs> Believe me, I care. <laughs> okay, let's get back to our program. Um, this uses a new greeting. And I use the marbled background on here. Super, super cute um, card. Easy to make, right? Super easy. Then we had a sneak peek with these little beauties. This was in a blog hop. Where'd my other string go? Oh, there it is. And this is a new stamp set coming out in the Occasions mini catalog. And this was a fun fold of sorts, right? How cute is that? And I made it in three different colors. Thank you, Vicky. I'm glad he's on the mend too, because he, like I said, he was pretty miserable and you just have to feel for him, especially when you're helpless and there's nothing you can do. And he's on the mend tonight before I went live. Well, actually, he made me supper. We had pork tenderloin and corn and um, baked potatoes. And he um, he made that for me, so that was great. <laughs> and then I took a nap. <laughs> and he didn't share my video yet. Are you kidding me? Steve, share my video. Okay. So those are the cards that I made last week. I wanted to share with you. Hang on. I got to put Haley's stuff back so she doesn't yell at me when she comes back to finish those other presents. And then what else do I have to show? Oh, let's do the prizes and then I'll show you the cards and stuff that I got this week. Okay. So first of all, from the comments from last week's video, we have Charlene Schulmeister is winning some chicken wire. Yay, Charlene. Charlene is from Antioch, Illinois. And I will be putting this in the mail tomorrow. And then for sharing the video, make sure you guys are clicking on that share button. That gets you another entry. I have the 2018-2020 in color designer series paper pack. Isn't this adorable? This is going to Karen Wilkinson of Cadiz, Kentucky. C-A-D-I-Z. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Cadiz? Cadiz? I don't know. But anyways, Kentucky. Um, Karen Wilkinson is the big winner. And then for placing orders with me last week, I have this to give away. And it's going to be cool because the um, New Year's, this is backwards, so it's hard for me to point at what I want to point at. The New Year greeting out of this fabulous exclusive hostess set we're going to be using to make a card tonight. So um, this goes to Stephanie Gibson of Pasco, Washington. Congratulations. I'm excited to be sending these prizes out to you guys. And like I said, I have them all addressed up and they're going to be ready to go in the mail tomorrow. I'm going to set those right there because sometimes I set them places and then I can't find them. Urgh. Yeah. That was sweet. Enjoy your new toys. That's right. Karen says she loves that warm-hearted stamp set so much. I know. I have loved it, too. It's a great hostess set. Now, um, speaking of hostess set, if you would like to get your hands... Whoops, let me take her dress off the front. <laughs> if you'd like to get your hands on the stamp set, you guys, it's only available until January 2nd um, because it is an exclusive host set in our holiday mini catalog. You'll find it on the last couple of pages in there. It's called Warm Hearted. 
Um, you can get it for really cheap. I don't remember how much it is, but it's I think it's $10 or less. It's got 14 different stamps in it. You can get this when you place a $150 order. So don't forget, when you're saving up and placing those bigger orders so you can get um, host rewards, that you can also buy these exclusive hostess sets at that time. You can't buy them any other time. Like, I can't even go in and buy this set. I have to have host rewards to buy an exclusive um, host set like this. So when your orders are bigger, you can do that. And I mean, like, if you're saving up and saving up and then boom, okay, now I've got $150 in orders. I can place an order. I'm going to get host rewards, and you can get one of those presets. Well, they're not free, but they're pretty close. They're highly discounted. Okay, let's start showing you some really cool cards here. Um, this is from Jerry and Dee Dee Tibke. Oh, this uses, you guys are going to be able to see this better. This uses the same framelit that Haley used on that picture I just showed you. And isn't this cool? This is a bridge card. Dee Dee's the one from um, Arizona that came up to Wisconsin to visit family. And we went out to lunch one day with her and her sister. So isn't that pretty? And then I'm showing all the cards because all cards are important. This is from Tyler Leonard. And Tyler is a boy that watches my videos from time to time. And he has messaged me and we're friends on Facebook. So thank you, Tyler. And then we have this, whoops, this from my daughter Stephanie and her two boys. This is my stepdaughter Stephanie. This was a picture taken while we were in Florida. So that's kind of cool. I like her Christmas card this year too. And then we have Sandy Carbone. Look at this beauty. Oh, and we're using this um, Snow Blizzard. We're going to use this tonight. So you're going to like. So here's another idea for you to make with it if you have this set or if you want to order it. Hey, I'm available for orders. <laughs> um, can you do the lighted frame your daughter is making? I have that framelit set. Can I do the lighted frame my daughter is making? I don't know about that. Um, it's kind of an involved project, Char, and I did, however, take pictures, okay? I took pictures of her process, and um, I think that I will share them on this Facebook group on my um, business page. I'll share the photos with you so um, you'll know exactly how she did it. It's pretty darn easy, so just know that. So that's a great question. Will you, Char, will you remind me, like send me a private message and say, Kelly, show the picture Haley made. <laughs> so I don't forget to do that because I think um, you guys will really like it. It's a super, super beautiful gift. And if you don't have those framelits yet, or if you don't have them now, it may be a little late. Like if you order now, it won't come for Christmas. But um, you could certainly get them and have them for next year. Okay, Steve, you would earn your crown if you shared. Yes, yeah, Steve, you'd earn a crown if you shared. I do have a crown he can wear. How about this one? So he's kind of funny because he's always looking for things for me. So he got me this. Let me see if I can get in here. <laughs> because he thought it would be funny. <laughs> yeah, isn't that funny? Uh-huh. And it does different things. Like, <laughs> hang on, did I just totally jack my hair up? It does that, and it does this, and it does this. Here, let's do this. We'll we'll wear this for right now because it's it's pretty stinking funny. <laughs> How's that? Distracting, perhaps? <laughs> Not any more than a crown, right? What size of frame did she use? Um, I think it's a five by seven frame, and I'll put that information in when I share it too, so that you have that. Because I know, as a crafter, I would want to know all that good stuff. Here's the next card that I got. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. Thank you for the share. And yes, I will give you some details about the um, project that she did. This card was from Virginia Larson. Thank you so much, Jen. I miss you. I used to see Virginia every month in our stamp club. And I haven't seen her for a long time. Are you guys ready for this holy cow doozy? Oh wait, please insert a battery operated tea light. Oh! Okay, so wait till you see this. I did not realize this. This is from my sister-in-law, Pam. And Pam sent me this gorgeous card, right? Ready for the inside? Oh, so look at that. Look at this. Inside this right here, you put a tea light and this 
white parts are vellum so that it will shine through. And maybe I'll find a tea light for next time if I can remember to do that and show it to you. How cool is that? Yeah, that's pretty cool, Pam. Way to go. And then Pam puts a picture of the family on the back and um, a little message. Thank you, Pam. That is so gorgeous. I love it. And she put a little strip of paper in there that says, put a little tea light in there. So she just mailed the cards and then said, put a little battery operated tea light into the Bethlehem scene in here. And holy cow, what a fantastic idea. I love this. I might be stealing that. Just want you know, she knows that I will steal her ideas. <laughs> She's obviously pretty good with it. All right, so this week I also received some presents. And you guys know I love presents. Well, I do, in case anybody didn't know that. And I'm just teasing. No, I really do love presents. But I don't want you to send me a whole bunch of presents. That's not why I'm telling you that. Um, my friend Denise stopped over today. Denise Krieger. She is, it was her birthday today. And she happened to be out shopping. And I started asking her about these word box signs. And, um... She brought me one. She said, I'm at Shopco right now. Can I stop over? And I'm like, sure. And she stopped over and brought me one of these. So she has a whole wall of words, she calls it, in her kitchen. And let me grab one of these here. So I have this that um, I think my friend Dina gave this to me. I'm kind of a big deal. And so she brought me this one. And I have two more of these. I love these. She takes these and hangs them all over her wall. And it's called her wall of words. And I, I just love it. So everybody's asking me what to get me for Christmas, right? And y'all know that I have enough. Um, I can buy my own stamp and stuff. So I don't need to tell my family to do that. But um, I decided that I want to do that in my kitchen. So I told all the kids that had been asking me, what do you want for Christmas? I want these. And they're 50% off at Shopco right now. Yeah, for those of you that don't have Shopco, I'm sorry. But we have it, and we love Shopco. And then I got... Now, can I show you these? These are really cute socks. These came from um, Suzette Lewis. Hang on a second. I just want to make sure I have this right. Ready? <laughs> a cute little pair of socks. And then Suzette made this for me. And if you remember a while back, well, right now in our holiday mini catalog, we have this owl. And um, Suzette, well, this isn't the exact owl, but there's an owl set. Suzette made me a gorgeous, gorgeous card and sent it to me. But look at this. Look what she did here. A little piece of designer series paper. And then this is just regular paper. She has, what do they call that, a bind it all or something? I have one in the basement. Um, and she made this for me. Isn't that just beautiful? I know, right? And then it was all packaged up in all this pretty ribbon. Like, it was outstanding. I opened the package and I just gasped. And she says, when I saw these, I knew exactly who they needed to go to. So she did everything with little labels. And I hope the language is okay. It's fine. I think it's funny. <laughs> so I got socks and this beautiful little notebook. Then I got this gorgeous card, and this is from Kay Allen. Thank you so much, Kay. This is absolutely beautiful. I have another card here from Beth Schuster. Oh, look at how pretty this is. She used that tufted um, embossing folder with the Peaceful Noel stamp set and the Sprig Punch. Whoops, over here, Sprig Punch. Gorgeous Beth Schuster. This is from Beth Schuster. And then we have, oh my gosh, Arliss. Arliss Canoop, when I opened this card, I just gasped. This is like a lemon lime green um, glimmer paper, and it just is stunning, absolutely stunning. So thank you, Arliss. And then we have Sheila Schultz. She did some glimmer paper on hers, too, and isn't this just beautiful? Another card. And then we have Lori Hyde sent this card. Does this look familiar? Yeah, I love it when I see you guys um, using some of the layouts that I've shown you. That really warms my heart. So she sent that. And then we have Sharon Jones. And look at how pretty this is. She's got that blue moon that she just um, masked and sponged right behind her tree. And I just thought this was just stunning. So thank you so much, Sharon. All right, you guys. I think 
Oh, yep, I got all these cards. I showed these all to you now. Let me make sure I don't want to miss anybody because, you know, who wants to be left out? Nobody. I'm going to set these over here. Um, I think we're ready to stamp now. And I've got just a couple other things to pick up and get out of my way. All right, did I miss any questions? Yes, I will share the frame that I'm talking about. Okay. Oh, Lisa won a gift card from Amazon. Good for you. That's awesome. Okay, hi, Bernie. How are you? I am going to turn my camera around. Oh, I have some other exciting news. Just in case you missed it, um, I need to thank you guys for all your support, your comments, sharing, um, orders, the whole deal, everything. Likes. Click on that like button. That helps me, too. Um, if you're watching this later on YouTube, click on that like button and share my video. That All of it is helpful. But, hi, Diane. I'm glad. Diane said this is the first time she's caught me live, so I'm excited you're here. Um, I earned the all-expense-paid-for-two trip to Maui with Stampin' Up. So, I was pretty excited about that. Um, we're going to be going to Maui, not this next summer, because this next summer we're going on a Greek Isle cruise, but the following summer we're going to Maui. And um, our Stampin' Up! year starts October 1st. And so it took me two and a half months to earn this trip, which is just incredible. Like, I am speechless that I was able to do that. And um, I think it's a testament to hard work and consistency and a, just a huge passion, passion for paper crafts and what I do because I love my job. Like, I love it. Even the stuff that isn't that fun, I would rather be doing. And so I need to thank all of you guys for your support and your, you know, keeping my spirits up and participating and commenting and, you know, all your kudos to you. Um, it's just greatly appreciated and it keeps me motivated and um, especially, especially helpful since I am like the only earner in my household. Um, you guys, for those of you that may not know, my husband was forced to retire last year after a um, horrible surgery. So, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm kind of speechless that I have earned this trip in two and a half months. And um, I was super, super excited. Like, I'm like, oh my gosh, I went out in the kitchen. You are never going to believe this. And Steve looked at me and he goes, you earned Maui. And I'm like, I just earned Maui. So that was pretty cool. One last thing I need to show you. Remember when I did a video on using these in your washi tape to keep the end um, so you can grab a hold of it easy each time you use um, washi tape? Well, Suzette gave me a whole container of them <laughs> because I went to the store and I was pulling them off the English muffins and I twist tied them back up with different twist ties, but I needed these kind. So thank you, Suzette, for that also. It was really funny. Um, I laughed my butt off when I opened them up. And thanks, you guys, so much. Where did I... Okay, so Steve got me the reindeer lights. Um, I don't know where they come from. Let me see if I can holler at him. Hang on. Hey, Steve. Where did my um, lighted headband come from? Okay, thanks. Oh my gosh, you know how when you ask a man a question, they're like, oh, um, and I'm like, I don't have all day here. People are waiting. <laughs> he thinks they came from ShopCo. Uh, Mickey, if you keep losing the video, it's on your end. Your streaming must be bad. Nobody else seems to be having, you know, a great deal of problems. I'm really sorry. Um, you could probably, if you need to, you can wait until I load it up on YouTube, which I will do. Oh, Lisa says she got hers at the Dollar Tree. Um, I get lots of good, cute stuff at the Dollar Tree. So, how do you use them on the washi tape? Um, well, let me show you. Here's a roll of washi tape. And I have a really hard time getting the washi tape started. And the reason why I have a hard time with that is because I have acrylic nails. So, my nails are thicker and I can't, you know, pick it. So, you take these little things and when you're done with your washi tape, you put them right in here like this. 
So I just stick the washi tape to them, and that way next time I go to grab it, it's easy to grab. Just a nice little tip um, that I shared a while back. I have a YouTube channel, you guys, where I share a tip every Wednesday, and it's just a short little tip like that. Well, sometimes it gets a little longer. But most of the time, it's just a short little tip. You can find my YouTube channel when you search for my name, Kelly Atchison. Um, and then once you get there, click on videos, and it'll show you. I have 600 videos on YouTube that you can check out. All right, I'm going to get to work here. I'm going to have fun. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I think the first thing we're going to make, I'm looking around for my projects. I think the first thing we're going to make is this little jewel. And... I gotta find my dimensions first. I think these are them. Am I have I missed any questions, you guys? I'm trying to keep an eye on this. Um, I'm gonna get everything set up here, and then I will flip you around. We're gonna do some acrobatics. Just kidding. Don't worry. <laughs> Nobody will get hurt in this video. Um, except I smashed my finger earlier today, and oh my gosh, it's like swollen up here, and it hurts really bad. So, I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to work with it. <laughs> and Angie said, um, even normal nails, it's hard to get. Yeah, it's really hard to get the washi tape going, you know. And so, those little um, twist ties. And so, if you're looking for the twist ties, they're only on English muffins. They don't put them on bread anymore for the most part. So, and thank you, Alexandra. I was pretty excited. Thanks for the share, Lori. All right, I'm going to flip my camera around now so that we can get some stamping done. I have a whole bunch of stuff to show you and look at the time already. I'm gonna be cruising through this. It may be a late night. One of these nights we need to do like a pajama party where I just can make you just a whole bunch of things and we can goof around. Not on a Sunday night though because I know that people have to get up in the morning for work, right? Okay, um, Vicki says they're still on bread there. Where are you from, Vicki? Yeah, we don't have them on bread so much anymore. All right, if you get motion sickness, I want you to close your eyes right now. I'm going to flip my phone around, and we are going to start stamping. Because I know you enjoy my chitter-chatter, but we're really here for the projects, right? <laughs> I know that. I know that. Okay, I need to unmirror my phone, so just hang on a second. If we get disconnected, you will... Okay, I think we're good. I've got, I'm plugged in. So thank you guys for those of you who remind me of that to plug my phone in. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to move just a little bit here. Okay, for those of you that had to close your eyes, open them back up. It's time to play. So I have a really cute little stocking stuffer or Secret Santa gift, or this would make a great gift to make for your um, teachers, for your kids' teachers, or um, like, again, like just to give to some of your favorite people that you deal with um, on a consistent basis. Your bank teller, the lady at Family Dollar. I know her name. I give her the bottle tops off of my two liter bottles of Pepsi because she uses the points to get free stuff for her grandkids. You know, we chit chat and of course we chit chat. <laughs> who do you think I am? Um, I'm the lady who chit chats at the store. But um, I've gotten to know her quite well, and I've got some cute little things that I'm going to be giving her every time I go into the store between now and Christmas, and it's just a nice thing to brighten somebody's day. So I've got a cute um, a cute little cocoa packet that I'm going to share with you today using the Making Christmas Bright. And again, we are going to be using the All is Bright Designer Series paper. And the last time I checked, this is still available in our store, so you can still get your hands on this. You can get your hands on this. There's a matching punch that goes with this. I'm not using it tonight, but I've used it on previous projects that I've shown you. So um, I have my stamp set ready to go here. I am using um, Garden Green and Real Red ink. And while I'm moving this, don't forget when you're putting in your orders, you want to use the current host code. And you can always find that on the right side of my blog right here. In the right-hand column, it'll say December host code. So... Um, there's a new one every month. I'm also going to be using my envelope punch board. I showed you a couple really cute projects last week with that. This week is nothing um, as extravagant as those, but it's still pretty cool. All right, here comes our layers. And how pretty are these? Huh? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? These are gorgeous. So here's that paper that we're going to use. I always like to tell you the dimensions that I'm using for this stuff. 
first. So this is a piece that's going to make a little, a little um, open top box. And this is a five and a quarter by six and a quarter. And um, <laughs> Pat, Patricia Eggers just said the night before you leave from Maui, you can say you're here today and gone tomorrow. <laughs> you're absolutely right because of the time change, right? Um, this piece is um, four and a quarter by five and a half. And these are real red. And then I've got the All is Bright Designer Series paper. Both of these are, well, let me see here. Both of these are four inches wide. Um, this one is two and a half inches, and this one is four inches. So we've got both of those. And a piece, a scrap of our gold glimmer paper, a scrap of whisper white, and another scrap of this paper we're going to use. So let me figure out what I'm doing here. Um, first of all, I'm going to bring my paper cutter in. Let me grab that. It's usually not over here, but Haley was using it earlier today. I wonder if she's still sleeping. <laughs> She said she was going home for a nap and she never came back. Um, now we've got just a little bit of scoring to do. So I will be posting all of the dimensions and a link to my blog where you'll find pictures, photographs that I've already done of the projects we're making tonight with the dimensions. There's also a whole shopping list there. So it'll show you all of the products that I made, that I used to make these tonight on my blog as soon as I get done. Now last week somebody jumped the gun and they said, your blog link isn't working. You have to give me just a little bit. I hadn't even started it and sometimes it can take me up to a couple hours to get all the links in and all the photos watermarked to put on my blog. But tonight I'm ahead of the game. I have all the photos loaded. I've got all the dimensions in there and all I have to do is put in the shopping list. So it'll take me just a little bit when we're done tonight to do that. Now in my directions, I talk about scoring on the long side and the short side. So this is the long side. I'm going to put this in my paper cutter and we're gonna score on the long side at two and three quarters of an inch and then three and a quarter of an inch. And I'm kind of excited about this because I made this box all by myself. Now we'll watch it, it won't fit, but I did make it all by myself. <laughs> um, I came up with the idea for this and had to figure out all the dimensions. Next on the short side, we're gonna score at a half an inch. So I just push it into a half an inch here. I'm gonna turn it around now and we're gonna score at four and three quarters. And to me, oh, maybe these are even. These need to be even and this one looks a little bit bigger. So let me see what's going on here. Yeah, this one is, I'm gonna trim a quarter inch off of this. I may have given you the wrong dimension here. Um, I think this should be six by five and a quarter, and I will change that in my dimensions. Yep, that's what it needed to be. So it's six by five and a quarter. Okay. I'm going to find a bone folder here. Now we're gonna fold on all these score lines, and this just makes up a little um, open end box. And it's easier to do your um, folding and burnishing on those score lines before you start cutting or snipping away at any of the tabs. And here we go. You're gonna just cut up to that score line with this tab. And then we're gonna pull those tabs in well, let's not do that yet. Let's put our paper on here. The smaller piece of designer series paper, we are going to glue on right here. So it's going to go right in here. Okay. And what else did I need to... Nope, I didn't need to do anything else to this. So now we're going to push those tabs in, and this box comes right up. I like my flaps to go over this way versus having them come this way. That's not very attractive. Um, it's just a neater finish if you put your flaps over the outside going towards the back. And here's our little open-ended box, okay? So I am just going to, let's see, I brought tear and tape here. Now for boxes, sometimes I'll use regular tape, but 
a lot of times you should be using tear, or I mean regular glue. A lot of times you should be using um, tear and tape or something stronger than glue because sometimes your glue, these boxes will pop apart and that's never cool. You don't want your stuff to be falling apart. Okay, so once we have our tear and tape on the back of these two tabs, then we're gonna put some on here before we put it together. If you forget to do this part and you already get your box together, don't worry, it's okay. Um, you can still put this on here. It's just easier to do if your box is laying, whoops, <laughs> that wasn't very good. If your box is laying flat here. Okay, there we go. Okay. Then I'm going to grab my Take Your Pick tool and I'm going to get out my little pokey end because this really helps me whoops, push that down good to remove that backing off the tape. There we go again. And then I'm going to do these two. I probably shouldn't have taken that back off yet, but I did because I just wasn't thinking about that. So don't stick it down to your surface. Notice I'm holding it up, I'm not sticking it down. Okay, now we are going to push these tabs in, okay? We're gonna pull these tabs in and we're gonna bring this up and we are going to make this open-ended box. And remember, you don't really get a second chance with this tear and tape. It's a lot like sticky strip that we used to carry that was very unforgiving. And uh, square up your box. Just like that, see, easy peasy, okay? And then we are going to do a little corner rounding and that's why I have my envelope punch board. So not only is it fabulous for doing all the kinds of projects that I showed you um, last week with it, but it's got this fantastic corner rounder on it. And what do I mean by fantastic corner rounder? Well, they ran a corner rounder where you pushed it in and you went to punch the corner and um, it was kind of jagged. This thing is kind of foolproof. Like, it's so nice that you can't hardly screw it up. So, um, I really do like the corner rounder on this, on this product. And if you're going to buy it to make the projects that I showed you last week, then you're in business because you can just use it for everything. But I just thought it would be kind of a nice look to have these rounded corners. We're going to take this bigger piece of designer series paper and we're going to whoops attach it to our four and a quarter by five and a half inch real red piece and now we're going to bring the box in now here's how I like to I'm going to attach the box to the front I like to hold my things up like this so that it's easier for me to get them squared up just like that how cute is this so we've got this little pouch here right Okay, next thing we have a little bit of stamping to do, and I'm using Garden Green and Real Red ink. And we're gonna come in here with the Making Christmas Bright. I love the swirly deal in here. It is so pretty. Oh, and Patricia says she finished making the grandkids gift card boxes with the snowman um, with the wiggle thing in it. Those are so cute. They're gonna love them. Okay, garden green. Next, we're gonna come in with the May Your Christmas B. And I could have mounted this and the bright on, this, on the same block maybe, but it might have been too far away. But I was gonna do these in two different colors and then I changed my mind. So I'm keeping them both red. But because they're the photopolymer rubber, you can see right through them, right? It's beautiful gonna bring in my two and a quarter inch punch here fits perfect around this baby okay so here's our little label and then we're going to take the other side of our designer series paper and we're gonna cut out a circle that's just a little bit bigger than this one and the glimmer paper we're gonna get a scallop circle and through the magic of TV I've already done that. I know, right? Pretty cool. <laughs> I always love doing that through the magic of TV. I have already cut them out to save us time. We're going to glue this down. And then I'm going to grab me some dimensionals. And I see that it's 
It's a little trickier here today because Haley was here and she's got a whole bunch of stuff over on the other side of my table that she was using. So now I'm going to pop these this green layer up onto the gold layer and I'm going to whoops use dimensionals to do that. I'm going to add three of them here. If you're new to me, stick your fingernail right in the middle of your dimensionals and it will pop that edge up so you can get the backing off a little easier. And I see I've got red ink all over my fingers, which is just dandy. Red ink. Red ink is like the monster of all inks. It's a necessary evil. We have to have red ink, but I always get it on my fingers. It never fails. It's like, seriously. Okay, let me close these back up. Now, this little treat pouch is going to be the cutest thing. Your kids or your grandchildren are going to be the talk of the class or you're going to be the talk at the bank if you make a few of these because it's super simple. You can put anything in it. Just wait and see what I've got going in here. I just added a little bit of glue to the back there. And now we are going to add a French vanilla hot cocoa packet. And then I've got a special dark with almonds Hershey bar and a candy cane. And how cute are these to give out to teachers or um, as stocking favors? You could take one of these for um, everybody that's gonna be at Christmas wherever you're going. Super, super cute. So, adorable. Now, if you wanted to, you could put a white layer on the back here and you could stamp a greeting or you could sign your name or whatever. You could add a little tag here someplace to say to and from on it. But I just thought this was really sweet. And I love giving these types of things because, well, this is a full-size candy bar. But you can buy those in the packs for, like, making s'mores. That's a great way to do it because they're pretty inexpensive. Um... Candy canes are inexpensive. The cocoa I got at Festival Foods. Um, let me show you that because I know people will want to know. You'll find it by the cocoa and coffee stuff. And it comes in a box like this. And you can buy these individual packs. So you can get just as many as you want. But yeah, that's, where, that's what I do with the cocoa. So super cute idea. Again, it makes just a great gift to give to somebody that you wouldn't normally buy a gift for. And somebody's asking me, does my sweater say Stamping Up? My blood probably says Stamping Up. <laughs> that is a very good question. It does. This is a Stamping Up sweater. And I got this at the onstage event in Orlando um, at the end. of we, we were down there at the beginning of November. And this is the Stampin' Up! sweater that was available to us. I love logo wear because I can't tell you how many people have seen that. I went to get my nails done a couple weeks ago. I was wearing this sweater and some lady goes, Hey, is that a Stampin' Up! logo on your sleeve? And we were just at the nail salon. So, yeah, it is. <laughs> So yes, um, very nice sweater too. Stampin' Up! does pretty high quality clothing when we get a chance to buy logo wear. All right, you guys, I'm going to put this away and we're going to move on to our next project. Um, remember, all this bright designer series paper is still available. The Making Christmas Bright comes with a matching bulb punch that punches out these bulbs. So that's really fun. Let me get all this stuff out of here and try to keep it somewhat organized so that I don't have a big disaster. I'll bring all the projects back in at the end to show you one more time when we're done. So don't, don't worry about that. All right, got that cleaned up. Um, Hearst, Denise says her daughter, oh, not me. She's not near me because I'm like, I don't know where Hearst is. There could be a Hearst, I guess. I've never heard of it. Okay, next, we have, uh, people were asking me to do um, a New Year's card, and I thought, hey, that is a fantastic idea to do a New Year's card. So that's what I'm going to do. And remember I told you that somebody won that host set earlier today, and that's what I'm using for this. Oh, and we're going to be playing with shimmer paint. Oh, love shimmer paint. Oh, look it. I lost this earlier. This is my um, chamois. I couldn't find it. And I'm like, I don't know what I did with that thing. There it is. 
yeah. And some ribbon. Here comes the Blizzard Thinlets that are super, super fun. The beautiful Blizzard stamp set. And then the Warm Hearted. We're using the Cheers to the New Year out of here. And I've got a spritzer. So, where's my cardstock layers? Oh, right here. I'm like, oh my lord, where did my cardstock go? Here it comes. Oops, hang on. I got things flying everywhere. I've got white and white and silver. And what's happening back here? Oh, yep. And more silver. Okay. Let me find my dimensions here. Here we go. Um, this is a fun fold. So, regardless of whether you need a New Year's card or not, you'll love this for other types of cards too. This is our Smoky Slate card stock, and it is four and a quarter. Nope, hang on, let me think about that. Um, yeah, four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I've got another piece here that is three and a quarter by eight, and I've scored it down the middle at four and a quarter. And remember, all of these dimensions will be on. Um, above this video on Facebook and then also I'll have a link to my blog where you will be able to find these dimensions in a little bit. I need to get everything set up on my blog before I can post it. So if you click on my blog link and it doesn't go any place, don't fret. Just give me a little bit of time because I need to um, get the shopping list put in there. Then I've got a piece of Whisper White and this is four by five and a quarter. And... Oh wait, what's this for? Hang on just a second. This is just a scrap. This is what we need. This is um, Whisper White three by four, and then this is our scrap. Okay, so here we go. We are gonna do our stamping first. And, oh, here's my little pad. We're gonna bring that in. I used gray and blueberry bushel. So here comes my blueberry bushel, and we're going to stamp our greeting first. I'm going to stamp this right in the middle, and then I'm going to die cut it with this circle die. And let me see how big this is, because I know I like to know those things. It's about two and five eighths inch. The circle is about two and five eighths inch round. Okay, we're going to die cut this in the big shot. And through the magic of TV, I've already done that. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> and then, next, what we're going to do is we are going to start stamping on the gray piece. Did you see? Oh, here it is. Need this gray piece. Okay, we're going to fold this. This piece, now, let me tell you a little something. When I scored this, I told you to score this at four and a quarter. When I went into four and a quarter, I did it just a little bit more, just a tiny little, tiny, tiny little bit more because this is gonna fold over and I want it to match up with the front. It doesn't matter that the back is a little bit short. I want it to match up with the front. Okay, so we are going to stamp on here and we're gonna stamp on here a little bit. And here's where the fun stuff comes in. This is our frost white um, shimmer paint. Now, what I can tell you is we had Vegas Gold and uh, what was the other color? Copper. Those two colors were in our closeout clearance rack. Um, the Frost White and, oh, the gold and the white are sticking around. No, let me start over. Oh, my Lord. The Champagne and the Frost White are sticking around. The gold and the copper are retiring with this mini catalog. And they're in the closeout sale, or they were. And so you can get those at a discounted price. But this is the white, and I'm just going to pour a little bit out here into the lid of an embellishment. I'm gonna take my sponge and wipe that off there and close that back up so I don't spill it. Now, I'm gonna bring in, hang on, I'm getting very warm, <laughs> which happens, and then I set my card right in front of your comments. I'm sorry, you guys. Get this out of the way so I can see what's going on. Um, Nancy says, as she sees me open my ink pad, she has an ink pad that is very hard to slide open and shut. Is there something I can do to help? Yes, there is, and I'm glad you asked that question. 
So um, I had a tip video, my Wednesday tip videos again. I took a birthday candle and I rubbed it in the track here and um, rub it in the track, slide this back and forth a few times and it'll get really easy. It'll make it slide better. Another thing, if you don't have birthday candles, you can take um, fold up uh, wax paper so that it'll fit in there and rub it back and forth, same thing. And that'll really be helpful for you. You will be glad that you asked that question. Um, the stamp set that I'm using is from the Warm Hearted Stamp Rebecca. This is a exclusive host set meaning that you need to place a $150 order or have a Stampin' Up! party that goes over $150 to get rewards to buy this stamp set. Okay, I am, or <laughs> somebody earlier tonight um, won it from watching me last week, so it is one that I give away also. You're welcome, Nancy. I'm glad you asked. That was a great question. I'm taking my shimmer paint on a sponge here, and I'm going to add it to the snowflakes from the Beautiful Blizzard stamp set. Now, this is a whole bundle because it has um, a framelit that goes with it, or thinlets. And now I'm going to stamp this on my gray. And we're going to do it again. And I just stamped this all over my gray layer. I hope you guys can see me. I sometimes get too close, too far off the screen. And I'm just going to rotate these around. Hang tight. I'll show you in a second what this looks like if you can't see it because it's too far away. It is just the most beautiful glimmer ever. Do one there. Um, I'm going to fold this and do another one right here. And then, before we're done, I'm going to do some on this label. And one more time, right up here. Now I'll show this to you. And it is, I hope you can see it. Let me stand up and make sure I'm right in the, let's see if I can get my, can you see that shimmer on there? I hope so, you guys. The pictures on my blog are going to really show it because I took some good pictures earlier today. Can you see that shimmer? It is just so, so very pretty. Okay, so that's what I did with the sponge in the shimmer paint, all right? Um, I do recommend washing this off of your stamps right away. This is our stamp chamois, and this gets them pretty darn, well, I love the chamois, but that cleans off pretty easily, and um, you can just take a baby wipe and wipe off your black because I see I have some shimmer paint on there. It comes right off. No big deal. Love, love, love this. Shimmer paint. I was so excited when Stampin' Up! brought it back. Hi, Robin from Wisconsin. I'm in Wisconsin, too. Okay, next thing we're going to do here is um, I've already got die cuts going here. Now, remember I said this one was two and five eighths. And I am going to add this white layer to my blueberry bushel, otherwise known as blueberry buckle. <laughs> so for those of you that have kids that are in their early 20s, do you remember blueberry buckle? It was a um, Gerber baby food dessert <laughs> called blueberry buckle. And oh my gosh, Haley just loved it. So that's what this blueberry bushel reminds me of. Is I always like to call it blueberry buckle. Okay, so we've got our dimensionals on the back of the blueberry buckle or blueberry bushel layer. I hate to tell people the wrong name of stuff, but I think it is funny. <laughs> and we're just going to have this little bit of silver glimmer paper sticking out. Now, I die cut that with the um, label or the circle framelits. So that's where I'm getting these from. And um, next, what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of our snail adhesive, and I'm going to run this down. Make sure I'm on the front here. I'm going to run this down the edge of my layer. And I need to make sure that this got all the way out to that very end. And this is how I'm going to attach some ribbon. This is our silver metallic edged ribbon or silver metallic edge ribbon I guess it is. I'm just going to put this on here. If you want to bring in some really nice sharp scissors, let's see how these are going to do. I'm gonna... Oh, these are my new paper snips. My other ones were getting so icky. 
<gasps> Look at how pretty that is. Okay, so I just ran that down the front like that. Next, I'm going to bring this in and we are going to just put glue on the bottom part down here, okay? And I'm gonna set that about right there. Here's our gray piece and our blue piece. So we're gonna just set this aside for a minute. We're gonna do something really cool with this. And so I need to bring in my big shot. So hang on. show you when I'm doing things that you may not be familiar with. You guys know how to die cut circles and squares and stuff like that. So this is the kind of thing that I bring in to show you so that you know how to redo it at home. This is the multi-purpose platform that comes with your, with your Big Shot. And now I'm just going to put a plate down here. And I am going to bring in the, what is this called? This is called the Blizzard Thinlet die, and this is just all snowflakes. I'm gonna take this and put it on my layer and fasten it down with some washi tape. Um, I just find that things work out better for me when I, using this technique, when I fasten it down with washi tape. You must turn this upside down. If you run it through your machine like this, not much is gonna happen. You have to turn this upside down we are going to put, this is one of two um, rubber mats that you can get. As a matter of fact, Cindy DeWitt, you just won these rubber mats in my Facebook Live from yesterday. So you put these over top, and now the rubber mats, oh, this was the pop socket off the back of my phone. I did order a new one, I knew it was failing. Um, I'm looking for the other rubber mat, here we go. You get, a bigger rubber mat that I haven't really used much, but I promise I will show you something with this soon. You get a little rubber mat, and then you get this white um, plate. So we've got a regular plate. Our cardstock is with the framelit underneath, cardstock on top, the blue mat, and now this white mat. And we're going to run this through our machine. And it really doesn't feel like you're doing much. You don't get a lot of resistance from it when you run it through, but don't be alarmed by that because look at the glory that just happened. Is that not incredibly beautiful? So not only can we die cut with this, but we can emboss with it using these rubber mats. Now you get all of these rubber mats with this plate for $15. And um, yeah, it's pretty cool. We have some other products that work in conjunction with this. One of them being this Serene Garden, the die that came in with this bundle. I hope you can see that. I use the mats on that also. So we've got a lot of different things we can do with the mats. Let me get this out of the way. Okay, um, the other thing that you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need some snowflakes. So you're going to run this through the Big Shot just like normal, like any other um, thinlet and die cut some snowflakes on some silver glimmer paper. And of course, through the magic of TV, I have already done that to save us a little bit of time here because I knew we were gonna be kind of running on time. Next thing I wanna do is I'm going to bring in a scrap piece of paper here. And if you have never seen me do this before, you're going to love me even more. Where did my spritzer go? Did you see a spritzer laying out here somewhere? Oh, yeah, that one. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's the one. Oh, you guys, my things. Okay, so Amy says, I must be doing something wrong with the embossing mats. When I tried to emboss a die cut, it didn't work. That's because you need to turn it upside down. So you have your die facing up, your cardstock on top. So here's the cutting edge. Most of the time we run our dies through like this, right? But when you're gonna use the embossing mats, you have to put them down and you have to run them through upside down with the rubber on this side. That's what makes the imprint, Amy. You're gonna have a lot better time with these. And they are called embossing mats. Okay. So, um, I found my spritzer, 
And now I'm gonna show you how I mix up this little concoction because this is like the coolest thing ever. I absolutely love it. I've got just regular rubbing alcohol. It's 70% rubbing alcohol. People are gonna ask me if you can use 90% or whatever it is. I don't know. I've got 70% alcohol. <laughs> And I'm I'm thinking that the 90% will work, but this is the most common alcohol rubbing alcohol that you buy at the store. Is about is the 70%. So I've just filled my little spritzer up about this far. There is no tried and true little formula to this, but you want it about two-thirds or three-quarters of the way filled with alcohol. Not the kind we drink. Speaking of drinks, what are you guys drinking this weekend? Mm. Oh, that is like nectar of the gods. I've got Pepsi. Yeah, <laughs> nothing too exciting. What's everybody else drinking? Now we're going to take and we're going to put a couple drops of this in here. And like I said, there's no tried and true measuring here. Here, let me see if I can just, I want to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. And that's probably two drops, okay? Now we're going to shake this up. We're gonna make sure that we feel like it's got enough shimmer in it. If it doesn't, we'll just put some more, um, some more um, shimmer paint in it. Now, see it? It's all globbed up right here. We're gonna shake that, and it's gonna mix up really nicely. Let me close this because I see some disasters coming on here. Okay, and where did that? Oh, you know what? I bet you that was my piece that I needed. It was. I screwed up already, but we'll fix it. Um, now, we are going to take this layer and we are going to mist it. Just hang on a second here. Here we go. I'm holding it about this far away from my paper. <gasps> and it's so, so pretty, you guys. I hope you can see this. Can you see that glimmer? It is a amazing it's so so pretty love this okay so we did that I showed you how to do that next what we're gonna do is Kelly needs to cut a new piece of paper because I used the paper I needed for a scrap so I need a piece that's three by four here we go three by four perfect all right Here comes my mat back in here. Now we're going to stamp up the inside of our card, and then we're going to put it all together, and you are going to... This is a really blinged out card, I have to say. And of course, when I make um, New Year's cards, I expect them to be flashy. Like, that's what I'm going for every time. I don't know. I'm really drawn to that for New Year's cards. Here comes our stamp set again, and I'm going to use this big, like, blizzardy looking stamp. And I've got smoky slate here. I'm gonna stamp off, maybe, stamp off once, and then I'm gonna stamp this right in the middle of my layer. So it gives it kind of that blizzardy look. Then we're gonna bring in our blueberry buckle again, formerly known as blueberry bushel. Where are my, I just, oh, here they are. I'm like, where are my snowflakes? The same snowflakes that I used on the front part of our card right here with the shimmer paint we are going to use those in the blueberry buckle <laughs> bushel just like that just a couple couple stamps there and then I have this greeting that came in the beautiful blizzard set that says thinking of you with love and I thought that was just very appropriate for a New Year's card I'm going to put that right in the middle. And isn't that just really pretty? I thought that was really pretty. Okay, now all of these little snowflakes that we die cut out of this framelit, I am going to add one to the inside layer. And here, let me get this closed up. Here comes another nifty way to adhere these very detailed and delicate little dies. I'm just scribbling some glue in here. I have a sponge that's on one of these clips and I'm going to do this. And now I need a scratch paper, so hang on. You wanna use a scratch piece of paper so that you don't get glue all over your surface. 
Here's my snowflake. So I'm going to lay this down, face down, and now I'm going to add my glue with the sponge, and I'm going to put this right over here. And isn't that spectacular? Yeah, pretty cool. I'm going to take this and I'm going to connect it or attach it to my blueberry layer right down here at the bottom. And I just pick that up so I can get it all the way to the bottom. Pretty, pretty so far, right? Ah. Then we're going to bring in this four and a quarter by five and a half inch layer. And I am going to glue this down. And I see that my white layer, I didn't cut it very nicely. So I'm just going to trim that off a little bit. It's easier to come back here and follow the guide of your blue layer to cut off something like this. Because now I know that it's straight, right? And we're going to add this right down in here. I'm going to bring in a couple of the snowflakes. Now remember, I used that sponge right here, so I want to move my scrap paper over so I'm not laying this in the glue and doing getting glue all over the front of it. Hang on, I've got things sticking. There we go. So here comes some more glue. And this has glue on the back of it. I'm going to add this snowflake right here. Put some more glue out here. And then we're going to bring this one Now, I know sometimes people ask me, well, what do I do with that sponge when I'm done? Well, you can take it and wash it because it'll get sticky, you know, if you leave the if you let the glue dry on there, it will get sticky. You can take it and wash it out and use it again. I use it, I just leave it because I'm lazy and it'll get a little sticky and I'll use it a couple more times and then I'll toss it and grab a new one just because that's what I do. It's better if you want to wash it out and keep it to use again. Okay, next thing we're going to do here is we're going to take some of these little ones. There's also these little tiny snowflakes that are in here. We're going to take some of these tiny ones and we're going to add them to our front greeting. Now I could use the sponge with the glue again. Whoops, that was too much. I could use the sponge with the glue again, but guess what? It's kind of hard to hold on to these while you're putting spongy glue on them. Where'd this go? Right here. So... I'm just going to add some regular liquid glue to a couple of these and add them to the front. There we go. Put this one right down here. And maybe one more here. I told you that I was blinging this out, and I wasn't kidding. I love to do this with New Year's cards. Oops, hang on. Are you ready for me to put this all together now? We're pretty close. Here comes, we're going to do this, and I'm going to put this right down here. Do I have another, oh, here's another big one. One more snowflake, and we're going to put this puppy together. Yeah, they do look like a little ship wheel. That's exactly what I thought when I was looking at them, Sylvia. Sylvia says, they look like a little ship wheel, and they do. Okay, ready for this? Let me get this junk out of the way. Oh, there's that big one I was looking for. <laughs> no big deal. Okay. All right, you guys. This little piece right here, we are going to take some glue, and we are going to add this to the back, bottom, close this up, tap it down. Oh, my gosh, this is our amazing New Year's card. What do you think? Yeah, pretty blingy, right? Pretty spectacular. I loved this. This was so fun to make, too. So, again, the um, beautiful Blizzard bundle, okay? And this is the host set that's called Warm Hearted. You can get this with a $150 order or you can have a party and have people order and this is what you can buy with your Stampin' Rewards. That's how it works. So that's what I used for this card. Now, I have one more super cute, easy project to show you with a sneak peek out of the Occasions mini catalog. So hang tight while I clean up my little mess here. Here, I'll leave this lay in here for you so 
you can have something to look at. I'm going to put these back in the... Oh, I thought I was putting them back in a Ziploc, but I'm not. <laughs> because I don't know where my Ziploc went, but I do need to clean up my area here. Oh, there's my bed. All right, you guys, getting this all picked up so we can move on to the next thing. And this, and this, I also rinse this out and I wash this little plate off when I'm done too with the um, shimmer paint. And stamps. Okay, next project. Oh, I got some red ink on here, hang on. Try to keep this cleaned off as much as I can. Um, you're going to love these. These are so fun. All right. We're going to get out all the stuff we need. I'm using the abstract impressions along with, and here comes our sneak peek. Strong and beautiful. I'll leave that set there for a minute while I get set up. This has got to be the most amazing sentiment stamp set that I have ever Scene. I mean, I love the sayings in this. They are so appropriate for so many different things on so many different levels. And I know that you guys are going to love this set. Okay, here's what we're going to make with it. And it's going to be bold and bright and beautiful. So I've got all my little layers. Look at how pretty these colors are together. That's a scrap. I am using the Garden Impressions Designer Series Paper Stack, and this is just an incredible, colorful paper stack. It comes in six by six. I believe you get four sheets of each pattern. They're all double-sided, so this has like a million different um, um, things you can do with this. It's just so, so pretty. So first of all, Hang on, I gotta find my dimensions. Here they are. Did I miss any questions, you guys? This is a great time to ask questions if I if I missed your questions. Um, I apologize, but for some reason my computer isn't keeping up with the scrolling. What are you gonna miss, Lisa? I missed that. Um, <laughs> okay, so here comes our base. This is three and three quarters by 10. And we're gonna bring in our paper trimmer here. And we are going to score this at five inches on the long side. And this is the long side, scoring at five inches. Then I have another piece here. And this piece is five inches by three and three quarters. And again, we're gonna score on the long side at one inch, two and a half, and four. All the dimensions will be posted on my blog and above this video. You vote for two more projects. <laughs> um, Vicki's asking if I'm going to use the masculine set soon. Yes, I will start to um, show you guys the stuff coming out of the Occasions mini catalog. I do not like to do that real early and here's why. It's frustrating. You can't buy anything out of that catalog unless you're a demonstrator. And um, I don't like to frustrate my customers, so I want to keep them happy. And so when you see the projects that I make, you can buy what I am showing you. And I will start showing you some of the stuff coming out in the new catalogs, getting closer to when you can buy those things. Then you won't be all frustrated. And I'm just getting the glue off my fingers. Okay, here we go. So we, did, we scored this one. We scored this one. This is a scrap. Um, I need a die cut scallop oval from the oval framelits here, and I've already done that. Then um, I need, you'll need a scrap of white, and we are going to stamp our greeting on here. So we'll bring this in, and I'm going to use Melon Mambo with the U, or like a diamond, resilient, strong, and beautiful. You guys are going to just love these. They're super cute. Okay, let's see if I can get this on here straight. No 
oh, it's crooked. That won't do. Don't like it. Hang on. This is a red. <laughs> I just stuck my finger in it. There we go. That looks much better. Okay. And then I've also got some So Saffron here. And I'm going to just stamp um, a little flower right down here. That's from the Abstract Impressions and another one like right up there. And Isn't that just sweet? It's sweet. It's simple. It's, it's pretty. I love the font on here. Now when I get done with this, I'm going to show you two other samples making the same project using the um, Garden Impressions paper. So already I'm loving this. This is just so vibrant and pretty. Now what we're making here is a little easel calendar. And I think what I am going to do is everybody placing an order this week is gonna get a kit to make their own easel calendar. It'll include the calendar and all of these layers of cardstock so that you can get it and you can stamp your greeting on the white layer and glue it together and have yourself an easel calendar. And I think this will be super fun. So between now, um, this program on December 16th, um, let's say through Christmas Day, I am going to send out kits for um, everybody that places a $35 or more order in my store. You will get a kit to make one of these, and I think you're going to love them. So this little designer series paper layer is three and a quarter by four and a half, and I just lost my glue. Here it is. Add some glue, and isn't this just really pretty? It's like abstract impressions. That's what the stamp set is called, and that's what this just reminds me of, of abstract art. Then we're going to take this layer. This lovely lipstick layer, by the way, is um, three and a half by four and three quarters. And we're going to put this right here. I'm going to put this on the back because I see that it's overlapping just a little bit on the bottom and that's going to give me a better look. I didn't score it perfectly for the card base. Now this is our easel and this is what's going to keep this standing up. You know how you stand up a card on a desk if it's a tall card and then eventually it kind of falls and it, and it goes splish like this? Well this is going to keep that from happening. So I've got a little bit of glue here and that's why we did these three score lines. We're just going to add this right to that front and now we're going to put some more glue on this tab right here and close our card. Hold that for just a second. I'm going to bring out those dimensionals and we're going to put them on the back of our easel. And stick your finger in the middle to get those edges to lift up a little bit. Hi, Marsha. Glad you could join. Hi, Kathy Miller. Yeah, I know. Kathy says she loves these colors together, and they are absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? Now, I have little calendars, and I actually order these, so I'll share that link with you if you're interested in it. Otherwise, I also have... Um, a place where you can go right on your computer online and you can print out calendars and cut the pages out yourself. So I'll add both of those links. Those will be on my blog post, which I will have up in, let's say, 30 minutes. I think I can get it up in 30 minutes. Maybe, well, no, actually I can't. I'll put um, the link on the Facebook, above the Facebook video. Because I forgot, I have to upload my video to YouTube, and that usually takes about an hour to get to make happen. Okay, so then we're just going to add this to the top. And isn't this just like an incredible little gift? It was super quick and easy. It's going to stand up. Oh, I almost threw it in the ink. It's going to stand up on somebody's desk. Just absolutely adorable, right? Now I have two more to show you. Um, of the same project in different colors. Don't forget to click on that share button. Uh, does anyone know where you could buy this style calendar in Canada? Um, 
Yeah, I don't know about that, but I will have a link where you can print it out, Amy, so you'll be able to do that. Here's the other two that I made. So this one is Calypso Coral with um, Melon Mambo and the pretty little designer paper here. This one says, to the woman who does it all with grace and wisdom. And don't you just love that? I have a lot of people like that in my life. And then this is Blueberry Buckle. <laughs> And I use Crush Curry ink here, and I love the blue and the yellows together. Um, Crush Curry cardstock. This says, you have what it takes to be unstoppable, and I couldn't be more proud. Aren't these nice? Now, if you wanted to, you could put a layer on the back and stamp some flowers on it and write a message. And this would be a real keepsake on your friends or families um, in their kitchen, on their desk, wherever they may put this. And it's going to take 12 months for them to want to get rid of this. <laughs> so they're going to be able to think of you for 12 months and how sweet you were that you gave this to them. Now let me grab, um, where are those calendars? I just pushed them off to the side so they would be out of my way. Oh, here they are. Nope, that's not them. And shoot. I don't know what I did with them. But anyways, I will give you the link for the calendars. Oh, here they are. I knew I kept them close. I wanted to keep them close. I don't remember how much they are. They don't cost that much. I think I ordered 40 for like $15. Um, so I would have enough for all of you that if you place the $35 order with me this, this next week until Christmas Day, through Christmas Day, I will send you one of these kits. Um, so you with the calendar, so you can make your own desktop calendar as my gift. So that should be fun. But this is how I got my calendars. And I got these from, well, I'll give you the link. Because when I went to search for the website tonight, it took me off someplace where I shouldn't have been. And that can be dangerous for viruses and stuff like that, right? We don't want to do that. Don't forget when you're placing your orders, if your orders are under $150, you want to use this host code. And um, that's how I can continue to give you giveaway prizes and stuff is by people using this host code. So here are our projects tonight. We've got the beautiful little desktop calendars. I wanted to show you where I got this idea for my New Year's card. I got that right here from this Christmas card. It isn't that gorgeous. This uses the same paper that I used for our cocoa treat packet. This is the same exact paper, the All is Bright Designer Series paper, and the um, Swirls and Curls, and then the Merry Christmas to All stamp set. That's just incredible. I think that's where it's come from. Incredibly beautiful. Here's our little host, or our little cocoa packet, and isn't that just adorable? These are so quick and easy to make. You're going to love them. And again, the sneak peek at our strong and beautiful um, greeting set. Oh, I love, love, love this. We've got Happy Mother's Day. You're amazing, and that's a fact. God made you my mother. Love made you my friend. To the woman who taught me what it means to be brave, thank you for always being there for me. Keep reaching for your dreams. I will keep cheering you on. We already did this one. I cherish you, my true friend. I know I can always count on you. We did this one. You have truly been a shining example to me. We did the unstoppable and proud. You are loved completely. So incredible, strong and beautiful stamp set. This is coming out in the Occasions Mini Catalog. And if you go to my blog, you'll find that there's a link there, um, a shopping list. And what this will be on one of the items that you can click on. When you click on that, it won't take you any place in my Stampin' Up! store because this isn't available until January 3rd. So I just want to make you aware of that. Everything else I've shown you here today is available right now. Um, get yourself some Garden Impressions Designer Series paper. It is so beautiful. And there's a gazillion ideas out there using this colorful, bright, and fun paper. I absolutely love it. All right, you guys, um, did I miss any questions? Don't forget to click on that share button. Um, I really appreciate you sharing. Don't forget to click on the like button right um, under this video. There's a like button. That also helps me out. Um, let's see. Mickey says she just got a bunch of calendars yesterday. Woohoo! Isn't that exciting? It's like, oh, my gosh, I have the calendars. I can make the projects, right? I know exactly what you're saying. Okay. 
Mercy says, if you put packaging tape behind the calendar on the card base, then use tear and tape on the package to tape it. This way you can take the calendar off at the end of the year. Well, you certainly could do that, but I'll tell you what. I mean, that's a great idea. I make these for my friends and family every year, so they don't need to hang on to this. I want to make a new one with new stamp sets and new paper and new everything. That's that's my goal is to provide one every year. So um, that's a good idea if you do want to reuse them, Mercy. Um, let's see. Vicki says, okay, um, Vicki, we are not going to promote other stamping companies on my Facebook Live, please. Um and I know that the company you're mentioning has calendars, but they're also in direct competition with me. So um, I will give you the link for the calendars. It's actually a place called skybluepink.com. And when you go there, it says that they're going out of business, but they have a printing company that is still making calendars for them. These are the large calendars that are offered through the Sky Blue Pink calendar link. And I will be posting that shortly. So just hang tight with me. And um, I'll give it to you. I promise. Let's see. Yeah, I want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas and let you know what's going on with me. So I'm not sure that I'm going to be live next Sunday night. We're going to have to see how things go. <laughs> I haven't even started my Christmas shopping, you guys. Um, so I'm going to have a really busy week ahead. And I've got two blog hops to do and a tip video um, so I'm not sure if I'll be live on the 23rd or not, but for right now, I'm going to say that I'm not going to be. And if I do, I'll, I'll, I'll throw out an advertisement that I plan on going live. We'll see. I'm not sure if I'm going to my mom's house early or not. So I just don't even know what our plans are. But anyways, I see that Elf is on TV right now <laughs> and it is one of my favorite shows. I hope that I didn't miss any um, questions. If I did, please ask them again. I do monitor the new questions coming in after I'm done um, doing my Facebook Live. So um, if you have a question that I missed, can you order calendars through Stampin' Up! Maria? No, we don't have calendars. Um, but I will give you a link where you can order calendars. I'll also give you a link where you can print them off. And I want to wish you guys a, just an incredible Christmas. I hope your Christmas is everything that you want it to be. Um, I hope that you get to, most importantly, spend time with friends and family and that you get along with your family. I know, I know. Um, but there's a lot of families that don't get along, and it just really makes me sad because um, the holidays are a time to come together and cherish everything that we have and remember that, um, you know, there's a lot of people out there that don't get to celebrate things like this. They don't, you know, they can't afford it or they're not in a good place in their life. And um, make sure you donate to your charities this time of year because that's what helps those people out. And it always warms my heart to do that. Um, one of the things that I really like to do is I like to give extra big tips when I go out to eat this time of year because... I know that my wait staff is working hard and I know that for the most part they're not working there because they absolutely love their job. Most of the time they're working there because they have to or they're trying to earn some extra income. So tip your waiters and waitresses if they're giving you good service. Um, give to the Toys for Tots. Give to the Salvation Army Buckets. Remember... I like to remember how fortunate I am this time of year and be really generous so that everybody can have a nice Christmas. Okay, if I don't have any more questions here, whoops, I just completely went away from my Facebook Live, so that was great. Let me get back on here. I'm still live. Nope, not still live. Hmm, that's weird. Oh, here I am. Okay, now I'm back. All right, you guys, I just wanted to see if I had any more questions here, and I don't think that I do. Um, Sandy's going to check out my classes. Yeah, make sure you go back to my blog right here and, and look for that button in the right-hand column to check out my online classes. Um, if you are not in the U.S. and you would like to get into my VIP group that I'm going to be um, sharing lots of exclusive content in on Facebook, it's a private group. 
um, you can buy one of my online classes and I can add you to the group that way. So that's another way that you can participate because you can't order product from me. And Rosemary, thank you so much. And <laughs> don't make me cry. I know I got a little choked up there too because, you know, if you think about the people who don't have much, I just think how just incredibly fortunate my family is. And it does make you choke up a little bit. Okay. Um... I think we're done. I want you guys to have a wonderful Christmas. And if I don't see you on the 23rd, um, I may just do a Facebook Live during the week between Christmas and New Year's because, you know, I can do that. Otherwise, I don't have a calendar. I will be back on the 30th if I don't see you next weekend. So, Merry Christmas, everybody. Bye-bye.